This is Motif, an immersive virtual reality experience that measures emotional engagement within VR to improve wellness. We took inspiration from what others have been doing in the VR space, such as Start VR, who are trialing virtual reality in hospitals to provide a distraction for patients going through chemotherapy. Also, at UCSF Benioff Children's Hospital, they are investigating using VR to reduce pain in sickle cell patients. Finally, Project Brave Mind are using VR to treat trauma for those coming back from war. So why did we make my team? Our big inspiration was improving people's lives. Um, as designers, we like to um, make people's lives better. Um, and so we saw this very much as a part of doing that, of giving back, of, of helping people. We're very much into looking at um, reducing stress. Um, we all live such busy, stressed lives these days. So anything that we can do to reduce stress, to increase focus, to give people more energy, to get through the day, um, to make them more efficient, and to encourage a kind of positive behaviour and having a positive effect on people's everyday lives using virtual reality. In Motif, we bring together two different kinds of technology. So we have the HTC Vive, which is our VR technology, and we have used a Muse EEG headset to capture people's brain waves. And what we've, what we've done is we've created a relaxation experience. It's based on um, real world kind of relaxation practices in that people are creating a mandala out of kind of flower-like abstract objects. Um, and we're tracking their EEG with a Muse headset. And then we're using the data that we're capturing from the EEG so that we know when they're relaxed and we know when they're in a flow state to um, reward the viewer and reward the viewer's interaction. What is flow? Flow is being in the zone. It's a, a state that long distance runners get into, musicians get into, artists get into. Basically it's where you're totally absorbed in an experience and the rest of world, the world kind of disappears and you are literally in the zone. So we are capturing flow state through looking at a combination of alpha, gamma, and beta and theta waves. And when alpha and theta cross over, which is a hypnagogic state, um, that is what we're taking to indicate flow. Um, and when we observe that, we're rewarding the user with an interactive um, bonus by adding extra pieces into the mandala. So what's next? We would love to add more depth to this experience. It's a POC right now and what we'd love to do would be to increase and improve on the gamification strategies that we have in there. We'd love to capture more biometric data by incorporating other sensors such as galvanic skin response or heart rate variability, both of which indicate stress levels. We'd love to get it out there into the hospital so that we can actually start helping with people's stress levels out there in the real world. And we'd like to make it accessible for everybody. Because this is something we all need, right?